What's up guys, it's Project bringing you the first build for Neo 2. And it's potentially the strongest build you can possibly make for early to mid game right now, and hell, maybe even all of new game. And it requires near zero skill or effort, aka Uma Ninja build. So as a warning, this is a pretty brain dead build, which I don't really recommend using as it will ruin your first experience with the game. I have not beaten the game yet. I'm still in the third region as of last night, hashtag no early copy, but I have recently stopped holding back the build and fully transitioned to it, which you can see me gearing it in part 4 of my first playthrough. While I don't plan to use kunai spam much at all for the story content, hell, I'm holding the build back purposefully by wearing no pants in my playthrough, thus losing damage. But Neo 2 does have a lot of bullcrap side missions that this build can help beat smoothly. So that was the main goal of the build when playing this game for the first time. A build with high clear speed to farm Amrita to level up fast after reaching New Game Plus. Whether this build holds up in Endgame, I'm not sure. We'll find out. But I wanted to get something out for you guys ASAP, so why not a build that can get you to Endgame? So, let's discuss the build. This is a ninja build. The goal is to spam your shuriken, kunai, and kunai storm and kill the enemy before they kill you. Pretty simple. It's glass canny, however, because of the lightweight armor, you should be able to dodge out of harm's way often, and well, burst counters exist to handle the rest. Soon as you get Fuma gear, you win. That's it. That's all you need. You can wear Shinobi set as a starter set until you get Fuma gear around late region 1 or early region 2, and you're going to be able to craft it as well. Fuma gear is best because armors don't have inheritables, which is this icon that lets you pass on effects to other gear. I'm not sure if inheritables were completely removed from the game, or just removed from new game, but so far I've found no drops with them at all, so if anyone can confirm that they're in the game, that'd be cool. But the armor is the most important piece to the build, as they give kunai and shuriken percent damage. Because no inheritables, the only way to get this stat onto other pieces besides gloves is this armor. The second, or should I say most important stat, is ninjutsu power, however. One ninjutsu power adds about 0.5% kunai damage, as we tested on stream and in the fourth episode of the playthrough. And luckily, you can temper that alongside your kunai damage percent. We also learned that untouched ninjutsu can also be stacked alongside both of these effects still, which can preserve your kunai from wasting away. So temper ninjutsu power and temper untouched ninjutsu. So far it seems only gloves and chest can get untouched however, for my limited testing. Times 2 kunai damage is also not present, so I don't know if that was removed, but it's not in the early game at least, or as a stat you can temper. For weapon, I use Kusa since it scales with dexterity. However, you can use whatever you want as you're not scaling weapon damage high enough for the scaling grades to matter. You can use spear, switchglaive, whatever you want. Just make sure it has backstab damage tempered onto it, as backstab damage is a universal stat that affects kunai damage. In order to get this stat on a weapon, it needs to not have a damage stat already. So if you got mid attack damage on it, you'll have to temper that stat out, as you're only allowed one damage stat per weapon. E damage and final blow damage and grapple damage do not apply to that rule however. Your ranged weapon should have agility damage bonus, since you'll have a agility with the armor, which affects kunai damage. Ninjutsu damage bonus is good too if it exists, but I haven't seen it yet. Regarding your ranged weapons, make sure to buy like 100 to 200 ammo of whatever one you plan to main. Personally, I like the rifles. For accessories, you want the riding sets as they give a huge amount of ninjutsu as a permastat. Temper kunai damage onto both and boom, you got your setup. For new players watching, tempering changes a stat on a gear from a pool of 3 to 6 effects, which requires umbersight or quality umbersight to temper it, which you can get by dismantling gear or doing twilight missions. You can also forge normal Umber Sight from the fragments you get from non-purple gear. For Spirit Guardian, there's not much or anything that really benefits kunai damage so far at my point in the game. But how about... Garnetia Elephantis? The Elephant has Anima Bonus Ranged Hit, which gives you Anima whenever you use your kunai, though not a bad option to have. It's also locked to the Phantom Shift form, which has a great burst counter after testing, allowing you to spam it in quick succession if you do suck at timing the counter correctly. It probably has one of the fastest animations to do that. The equal best option is the Bird Spirit, the starter one. 
You get Feral Farm, which is the best form, alongside Running Speed and Lightning Damage, which we'll talk about shortly. That wise, basically you just need Dex as high as possible, as it gives Ninjutsu power to scale our Kuna damage. I don't use too much magic, so 10 is probably the most I would do. Put a couple points into Stamina and Strength to get A Agility if need be. And lastly, consider some points into Courage and or Heart for more Key and Key Recovery Speed. Same thing with Skill, which also as a side effect boosts our Ninjutsu damage. For your Prestige Points, in Ungyo Tree in the title menu, you want Ninjutsu Power, Life, and Key. Just spam those over and over again. And for your clan that you get in Region 3, I chose Takigawa for the 40 Ninjutsu Power. But I might change that later. For skills, obviously, start with Shuriken, then Kunai, and then Storm Kunai around Region 2 to 3. But now I'm going to bring your attention to the new skills from the Ninja Tree in Neo 2, Feathers. These are very powerful from my testing, doing massive damage to enemies out of Key. So instead of going for a weak grapple, you can instead do 2 to 6 to 8k plus damage. 8,000 damage. So definitely take advantage of enemies that are out of key. It does have a slow casting animation, but because of the subtle nerfs to Kunai, being that most humans block after two storms now, this is a nice alternative to throw in the mix alongside your Kusa or weapon play. It's very powerful against Yokai though, since you can damage their key fast by breaking their horns. I haven't fully tested the damage difference between the elements, but assume that they'll deal more damage depending on the enemy's weakness. For lightning in particular though, you can use the bird to scale its damage. Get shuriken shooter and then thrown blade technique for faster throwing and more damage. Get sneak attack if you want. Quick chain scroll is amazing in case you die. Cat walking, sneak thief, and tiger running scroll allow you to be ninja -y. For mystic art, get concealment which will boost your kunai damage even more. Can't wait to try that out. Amio. Now, listen to me carefully. If you are starting this build from the start of the game, make sure to use Omnio as much as possible as to do the crazy damage you see in the videos, you're gonna need Weakness Talisman, which you can't get unless you got 30,000 Omnio proficiency. So, make sure to use Elemental Talismans for your weapon and Life Leech is good as well early on as much as possible. Aside that, you also got Sloth, Protection Talisman, and Barrier Talismans to be OP early on. However, once you do get Kunai up and running, you'll seldom need those effects. Mystic Heart for Omnio should be Amplification, since it'll allow your Weakness Talisman to last longer. However, you can also just go with Awakening for faster casting. For Samurai Tree, copy the order and skills I obtained here. Prioritize Flux and Flux 2 as fast as possible. Then the Stance Bonuses. You can get any green active skills you want, but the dexterity one is a must have as you can scale whatever skill you want to use most often as much as possible with your dexterity. And fortitude will give you more life. And for shifting, prioritize the dark realm and burst counter bonuses. The dark realm makes it so your key recovery is super slow, so you can barely attack, right? And this node more or less counters that so get it ASAP and max it out. Likewise, if you're out of key, you can use burst counters or yokai skills to block dodge or interrupt, even if you're in the exhausted state. And for weapon, since I said you can use anything you want, just get what skills you find fun. For Kusa, Blade Spin, Foot Sweep, Reaper, and Tangle Strike are all must-haves. Also, get the Shadow Strike bonuses for extra kunai damage from behind, if you're using the Kusurigama as your main weapon. Although, most weapons have this passive effect, so make sure to get it. Spear also gets thrust nodes which add even more damage. And that's the build! I definitely don't think anything can compete with kunai at this stage other than feathers damage. It's safe, it's fast, it's easy to build and play, flexible on weapon choice, can be made early on as you're able to temper and get kunai unlocked, not elemental restricted like omnio builds or paralysis or poison builds. The only thing missing is untouched ninjutsu on everything to make spamming them more reliable. Otherwise, you will generally have to fight with your weapon. So save your storms for big boss yokai or the boss, and save kunai for the tougher enemies while you kill the weaker ones with your main weapon, or rifle. So that's the build! Wanted to get this out early, I pretty much streamed me making this, which you can watch me at twitch.tv slash projectwar. I'm streaming two times a day till I beat the first playthrough. The walkthrough on YouTube is pretty much the stream just re-uploaded, if you can't catch the streams. I'll see how far I can get with this build, but in region 3, without over farming or anything, it's plain OP. But that's it for me, thank you guys for watching, 
Kunai Storm that like button. Comment down below your thoughts on the build or what build you're using at the moment that you find successful. Discord link in the description. Join the channel to support me and subscribe for more Neo 2 epicness.